Hi you guys, this is Jamie from Whatever's Clever Boutique and today I have a super fun tutorial for you guys inspired by two of my favorite makers. So I took a combination of Mitten Maid's Craft Neon Geode and Made by Manny and Mal's Plaid Geode to create this really fun tumbler. So I started with a 32 ounce plump that was prepped from the Steel Magnolia. And I went ahead and removed the bottom by just sticking the little screwdriver in the seam there, tapping it with my hammer, and it pops right off. So this tutorial is a bit long, so I'm going to skip the glittering process, but to glitter my tumbler, I took my glitter glue. And for the glitter, I used a mixture of three parts bright from Peachy Olive Glitters to one part Honeymoon from Peachy Olive Glitters. Once my glitter glue was dry from applying the glitter, I went in with more glitter glue to seal in that glitter. Then I went ahead and let that glitter glue sit for about two hours before I went in with my first two coats of epoxy. Once our epoxy is cured, we're going to go in with our plaid leopard wrap. So the tumbler that Mallory from Made by Manny and Mal made, she actually glittered her entire plaid. She's amazing. I, on the other hand, am just going to use a wrap because <laughs> plaids are very intimidating for me. Um, I actually wrapped this tumbler a couple of months ago and I've had it sitting on my shelf just staring at me. I couldn't find inspiration. I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. It was really hard to wrap. Therefore, it wasn't seamless and I did not love how it turned out. So I then came across Mal's tutorial on her plaid geode and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. And it would cover up my imperfections from the wrap. This will be great. Then I came across Rachel from Mitten Made Crafts Neon Geode and I was like, yes, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Neon with black and white, it's perfect. So that's where my inspiration came from. So just know, don't get super frustrated if a cup just isn't going the way you hoped and because eventually you will find something, even if it takes a couple months. But as you can see here, I'm really struggling with this wrap. I wanted to try and make the leopard swirl part come back over top of the plaid that I'd already laid, which as you can see, just was not going well, trying to remove that and make it look seamless. So I'm gonna let you watch me struggle. <laughs> We're going to eventually cover this up with our geode effect, but I just wanted you guys to know that I am most definitely not perfect and here is some proof for you. So I'm just trying to fandangle this thing back together and in the end, it did not turn out the way I had hoped. So happy watching. <laughs> now I'm going in and I'm gonna try and make these little plaid lines line up. It doesn't work. <laughs> it was all very defeating. Hence why this tumbler sat forever and stared at me. Now I'm going in and pulling my vinyl as tight as I can over the bottom and the top. And then we're gonna go ahead and trim off those edges. To do the bottom, I take my little cup edging tool here from Cami Page Boutique to get that perfectly straight seam on the bottom. And all of that hard work for a not so great turnout. As you can see here, it just 
did not match up well. I just didn't love it. So once I gained my inspiration, after I had applied two coats of epoxy, I sanded the rims and then we're gonna start our geode effect. So I just took a Posca paint pen here to kind of map out where I wanted that geode to go. Then I took my pure white from Papa Color Paint, you can use any acrylic paint that's white, to just create that base for your geode so that those bright colors pop off of that white base. didn't love the coverage of just the one coat so once this dried I did go in with a second coat so here's what we're gonna work with so I took some neon paints and mixed them together with some glitter glue from Crystalac in hindsight I should have used Mod Podge because it does dry faster but this worked just fine I just had to wait a little bit longer to apply the next colors so for glitters, I'm gonna use all Chase Ray Creation glitters. We're gonna use Neverland, Glacier, Mojito 2.0, Lemon Drop, Sherbert 2.0, Tangerine, Scrunchy 2.0, and Darling. And I do have a discount code with Chase Ray. It is whatever15 for 15% 15 off your order, and she does have these neons bundled. So run on over there and grab them. They are amazing. So now we're gonna map out our geode. So I have seven colors and then the one white. So that's eight total sections we'll need for our geode. As far as applying the glitters, I try and go with the darkest color first. I, It's tough with these because none of them are really truly that dark, but basically you just want to think about the colors that if there is any cross contamination, which colors are going to be less affected. So ultimately I went in with the purple first because it's kind of the darkest of the colors and then just kind of went on from there. I'm gonna go ahead and do this purple section in regular speed so you guys can see you know, the process slower. And then for the other colors, I'll speed it up for you guys so you don't have to sit here and watch me do this for 30 minutes. <laughs> but I wanted you guys to be able to see you know, kind of what this whole process entails time-wise and what that might look like for you.
And look at how pretty that is. That neon just pops right off of that black and white plaid leopard. I'm gonna let that glitter glue dry for a couple hours and then I'm gonna go in and I am going to seal in this glitter. We don't want any of this moving. So I'm just gonna take my glitter glue and seal in each section. Then I'm gonna wipe my brush off with a baby wipe in between each color, just so we don't cross contaminate. Once we get that all applied, I actually let this sit overnight. We did have quite a bit of glue, paint, all that stuff going on here, so I just want to be sure it was dry. And then I went in with two coats of epoxy. Once that epoxy is all cured, we're gonna go and do our rim sanding. We're gonna do the 60 grit and then go back over it with the 220 grit. And then I'm also gonna sand any, you know, kind of rough spots on the tumbler. I'm then gonna take my Posca paint pens in black and white. I decided to do two different colors to kind of give it more depth and dimension. So there was no rhyme, rule, or reason here. I just kind of chose which colors went where. <laughs> and I'll kind of let you watch that process. So I definitely don't want straight lines. So as you can see here, I'm doing this one in regular speed so you can see the amount of time it took, but I just kind of did jagged lines all the way following those glitter lines that I have in my geode effect.
And once we get the outlining all done, we're gonna go in with two final coats of epoxy. And I did do a glitter booty on this one. I'll go ahead and link some videos down in the description below showing how to do those. I hope you love this tutorial. This was so much fun. Again, huge shout out to Rachel and Mallory from Mitten Made Craft and Made by Manny and Mal. This tumbler was 100% inspired by their two designs. If you have any questions, comment below. If you want to see future tutorials, go ahead and hit that bell button so you can be notified when I upload any new tutorials. And go ahead and check that description box below for discount codes, as well as all the materials that I use to make this gorgeous tumbler. I will admit this has to be one of my all-time favorite tumblers that I have ever created. That just kind of goes to show sometimes you start a tumbler with one thing in mind and it just develops things don't go as planned you shift you know wavelengths and it turns out beautifully i hope you all have an amazing week and i will see you back here next sunday bye